That is The Clash. And the name of that song is The Right Profile. And I love when Joe Strummer just fucking dies. Like, right at the end of the song there, he just gives up. Someone in chat said, was he drunk? I don't know for a fact if Joe Strummer was drunk when he sang that song. But I have a feeling Joe Strummer might have been a little drunk when he sang that song. I've been thinking that for years. Or he was freestyle memeing. I don't know. I love that song. Uh, by the way, London Calling, if uh, if you have any interest in The Clash, just listen to London Calling and then figure it out from there. Hang on a second. We are almost ready. Ready for getting weird with it. Welcome to Getting Weird With It, and this is not the final feature of the night, which is good because, you know, at this point, I've been ending a lot of streams with Getting Weird With It, and I've not been able to, uh, you know, I've sadly not been able to, like, finish all of the Getting Weird With It games, and I've got so many of them, so thank you to Sphinx and the Vet team for putting this together, and everybody that submitted weird games that have been consolidated. Uh, last week, I believe I did part one of this collection, so here's part two. This is the stream where you ask yourself, who am I? What am I? And then after this, we'll do some Spooptober stuff. There's a dude in chat who's very upset that this is not Forgotten Mascots, even though that segment has come to an end, and I never said I was doing Forgotten Mascots today. I mean, if you get your expectations up for stuff that is, like, in your own mind, you're going to be disappointed. It's a lesson to be learned for all. This game is called... I don't, I don't know what this is called. So we'll just call it, this is the game title. Um, and we'll start with uh, type uh, CK tutorial. Welcome to the game. This tutorial will teach you the controls and movement tech you'll need to win. Use WASD to move, mouse to look around, space to... <laughs> okay. If you... fuck is this? Jump down here to die. Press F1 to set a checkpoint. You'll return to the checkpoint when you die. That noise is very familiar. It's like Scooby-Doo cartoon noises. Eat food to restore your health. Left-click a food container to take some food. Right-click anywhere to eat it. <laughs> okay, if you shatter your ankles, you could just, just eat some food and it's fine. Bouncing off walls can help slow your descent. Try hitting the wall near the X to avoid taking damage. What was the checkpoint button again? It's the Morrowind. Noise? Okay. It's F1, thanks. Okay. Strafe jumping. Hold forward and strafe turn while jumping. Hold jump while bouncing off of steep but not vertical slopes to jump off of them. Oh, shit. Is this like, like a surf map type? Yes, people are saying this is like a Counter-Strike surf map. Hmm. 
I thought it was just going to be like tutorials for stuff that you never use. And it was just going to keep adding game mechanics over and over and over and over again. That never are used. I would have enjoyed that quite a bit. I took a nap and forgot what else. Good luck, Star Fox. This is some janky shit. I thought those noises were in my real life. Those are some fucking ambient noises. I thought like a pipe had burst in my real life. You guys too? What the hell? God. I mean, you just have to get to the bottom of the map. <laughs> this is some stank. It's not good, surf. Oh, these bird sounds are probably going to get claimed. I don't know. Take food, it's just flowers. Vinny, is the bird sounds thing a joke, or will it actually get claimed? There was a... There was a picture I showed of bird sounds getting claimed. <laughs> Not that long ago. So yeah, it's real. It can happen. I'm being gangbanged between two walls. How, how the momentum from the bouncing? Like you bounce so much that you just die. This game is... it's very, very weird. I mean, yeah, I love the surf maps when I figured out how to do them, which took fucking forever in Counter-Strike, but this is just, like, ass. It's like an infinite way down, too. Like, you could just keep going. Look! Look at all this shit! Is there... is there an end? The skybox is CS... Is Counter-Strike CS Assault? Oh. Yeah, it's not fun. I'm gonna. S uh, oh, okay. Yeah, now it's time to move on to the next game. That was. Uh, wow, wow. It says in the folder it's 9ZK maps. So 9ZK maps. Try to abuse the checkpoint Welcome system. To 3D Dinosaur Adventure. Oh my god. Get ready. Put your 3D glasses on.
It looks like the volcano is nutting. Don't forget your umbrella! Is this the whole game? Yes. <laughs> yes, this is the whole game. This would have been a good cold open. I could have started the Sunday stream with this. Yeah, I mean, the, the experience that I really wanted would have been nice, but I couldn't get it because I don't have 3D glasses. K-L-Y-M is next. Getting weird with it is getting weirder. Been doing this segment for years. Even the logo's weirder now. The goose. That's oh, duck. I think it's a it's a goose like. It has controller support, but no camera controls. So you have to use mouse and keyboard if you want to get camera. Oh wait, actually that's. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. This is by the Burn Band dev. Click and drag to jump. Oh. Oh, no wonder the visuals are... this... stanky. Because it's uh, the Burn Band, dude. I see. Get up there. No? Can't get up there? Alright. The weirdest jumping system ever. Click, hold, jump. Now what? It's a zero of four, but I... I Yeah, no damage is nice. I mean, it's, yeah, it's Assassin's Creed, but wavy and indie. That's okay if you just eat some food after falling such a great height. You're you're fine. Okay, I can only go this way. I mean, it looks cool. I definitely want Burn Band 2, and I definitely want the other game that this developer is working on. Don't know why, but, like, pixelated, solid colors like this... It's just very visually appealing to me for some reason, especially with atmospheric effects. But, again, if you want to see a really cool-looking game in this style, just Google Burn Band 2. B-E-R-N-B-A-N-D 2. The first one's cool, but at this point, Burn Band 2 look, looks like it's going to blow the first one away. Wonk. Wonk. Oh, it's kind of like, um, climbing towers in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Vinny, where's the duck button? Which one? 
Oh, fu- Oh, god damn it, I was getting the duck button. Let's try one more time. Oh! Bring ducklings? I don't know what that means. You have to find her babies? This is the same tower as before? Oh. Well, let me get a good look around, at least. The camera is very limited. So you, you need- you need your bab. The babbies. I cannot find. Ubisoft tower mechanics. Someone said, I actually can't find anything at all for Burn Band 2. Uh... Okay. Oh, there's a bappy. Let me see if I can get one. Okay, how- how would I... Um... What's the name of the dude who- who, um... Makes Burn Band? At Burn Band on Twitter, and it's Tom... Bugart. Okay, yeah, I can't get up there. There's a very specific reason that I'm interested in Burn Band 2, and, and that's because it looks a lot like a movie I really like. The fifth element. He can't walk sideways or climb sideways. Oh, you can? Oh, okay, that's a new mechanic that I was unaware of. Not new exactly, but... And then you could drop down. Oh, that sucks. Oh. oh! I have to stop playing this. As cool as it looks, it's infuriating. Okay, here's like a little preview of. Let me show you what Burn Band actually looks like. Because... I feel like... I haven't heard from this game in a while. Every time we see something of it, it's very brief. It's like this. It's this. It's this. It's whatever the fuck this is. It's just so fucking weird. And really really like pretty and nice to look at. Look at this look at this scene. I wanna explore those sewers. Little robots. And this one, which is just fantastic. So yeah, I can't wait for this. When whenever this comes out. But we haven't really seen much of an update since March of this year. So I hope it happens. Climb. K-L-Y-M. Climb. Oh, I get it. Evolve your worm shrimp. Yeah, Hylix 2, Crypt Worlds 2, Albino Lullaby 2. Oh, God. Okay, let's evolve the worm shrimp. Uh -huh. 
It went full drum and bass from the 90s. Oh, shit. What's that movie? Run, Lola, run. Mr. Woods, you is in a relationship with Franca Potente. No, it is zoomed in for me as well, yes. The, um, the resolution on this game is minimal. Again, a lot of these games are not exactly designed with the player's best experience in mind. So you have to kind of just deal with the fact that it, yeah, okay. Yeah, a lot of these games aren't exactly designed. Good. Trying to get some evolution here. Yes! Oh, oh, I'm dead. Oh, god damn it! Give me a chance! Try again. So as soon as I turn into the fish, I have to get to the water immediately. That's my guess. Fish. Wow, look at those graphics. So seamless. I can't tell where the ocean ends. Uh, okay. What, do I have a, have a gun? I'm a lobster with a gun, with an Uzi. Oh wait, no, now I'm back to being a fish again. Oh, I want to be a lobster with an Uzi. Oh, it was a pistol shrimp. Lone shark? Oh, get the fuck out of here. I evolved too much. Die again, I'm pretty much done. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, fuck! Oh, the bank de-evolves you, I think. I can't even swim anymore. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm just a loan shark now. I won. I, I won. Holy shit. What a fever dream that was. This next one's called Vroom. Oh, so, uh, Danny Brain Vito, I have a question for you. Do you have like a Joker mobile? Because like, Batman got his Batmobile. mobile. Does Joker have a car? Oh, that go vroom vroom? Oh. Okay. This is called Schmied. It's not what it sounds like. 
I swear I'm not showing gay porn on the stream. Alright, let's try again. I don't get it. I can't move. I can only shoot, and then I move. I'm on a Segway. I'm on a Segway! I'm, like, Paul Blart... Doomslayer. I don't even know what life is anymore. Oh shit. Oh, good thing I don't have one. It's just two AK-47s on a Segway, that's it. No other weapons. No other enemies. Yeah, I like to think the person that invented Segway is in this hell right now. This looks like a Mario Kart, like, on Super Nintendo level. No, you know what? No, no, it looks like a Monkey Ball level. He really drove off of a cliff? Wait, what? Really? On a Segway? That's dark. Fallout! Alright, well, that poor son of a bitch. That poor son of a bitch. He was attempting to jump the Grand Canyon. Okay, alright. Listen. There's a limit to how much I believe in chat. This next game is... I don't know what the fuck this next game is. Um, Mousebox? Is it... It's not detecting... No! No! God. Thank <laughs> you. 
Chat, can I ask you a question? Why are the fingers so well animated? Stolen. Stolen stock fingers. <laughs> no! <laughs> it doesn't sound like a cat. It sounds like a, a Japanese dude going, Wow! Peak Sunday. Um, the title screen is pretty good, too. No! 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 It's a very interactive title screen. Yep. So how's everyone doing on Sunday night here on this stream? Does this need context? Could it have any context? Nope. No amount of context could ever be invented for a game like this. Clicking off that game, my eyes have taken a moment to adjust because the green border like fucked my eyes up. That's fun. Uh, the Loveland Frog Windows 1. Point 1. Where the fuck are you getting these cursed games, Sphinx? He's making them? This is a real cryptid? What do you mean it's a real cryptid? The Loveland Frog? That was, yeah, that was real life Frogger. Also, this frog is a moment away from going, Hello, my baby! Hello, my darling! Hello, my ragtime gal! This is the artist's rendering of what the Loveland Frog looks like. What a lame cryptid. Man, cryptids are usually like... ...scary looking and, and like monstrous and demonic, and then you get this... ...fucking thing, it's just an upright walking frog. Poor bastard. Loveland Frog. 
I got to read it. Artist's depiction of the creature. Oh, they, they just took the artist's depiction from Wikipedia and turned it into a game. Oh, it's a massive lad. It's like perfect suck height, though. It says here, The Loveland Frog is Ohio folklore. Legendary humanoid frog described as standing roughly four feet tall, allegedly spotted in Loveland, Ohio. According to a legend, a local man reported seeing three frog-like men with leathery skin, webbed hands, and feet at the side of the road in 1955. In 1972, the Loveland frog legend gained renowned, uh, renewed attention when Loveland police officers sighted and killed an animal they later identified as a large iguana that was missing its tail. According to various legends, the creature was first sighted in 1955. Um, the driver was heading out of Branch Hill. Game just shut itself. Uh, when he spotted three figures stood erect on their hind legs along the side of the road, each three to four feet tall with leathery skin frog faces. In the other two versions of the story, the creatures were spotted under or over a poorly lit bridge. There are a number of bridges in Loveland going over the Little Miami River. Story tells of a businessman watching the figures converse for a while until <laughs> one of the creatures held a wand over its head and fired a spray of sparks, startling the observer into fleeing the scene. That makes it so much better. Why wasn't that a game? They were like wizard frogs. What the fuck? There was so much more potential for this frog. The blood of some people, but the people were on drugs. And now I'm a wizard. Two people playing Pokemon Go claim to see the frog. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on Wikipedia, it says that they saw that. Uh, it stood upright and walked on its hind legs. Early 2019, an old sweater. What? A rising band in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, wrote a song called Loveland Frogmen. Oh, I see. I thought it was a location. Well, that was, um, a th that was a trip. Thank you for the lore. That was the lore of the frog was better than the fucking frog game. But I guess I, I would have never learned about this frog. Ever. Pod step ne hobbity. Is the name of this game. And I will carry you. Okay. Is, is Sam using a pizza cutter? Oh no, that's a pot. That's where he makes the potatoes. Sam should be dead. Oh, he's, he's going into the negative health now. Is, is there a way to attack? It's fucking useless! Okay, I, I guess I won. My dear Sam. I, that's it. That's the whole game. I don't even... I don't even know what to say about this. 
Um, it follows the Lord of the Rings better than most video games have, aside from the PS2 and GameCube one. Uh, oh, God, do I even have any more weird? Did I do all of getting weird with it indie? Did we do Medusa goes to the grocery store? Does that sound familiar to anyone? Let me check that out, and then, oh, there's a browser game, too. Okay, we got a couple more weird games. We did last year? Oh. Holy shit. Alright. Let's see, maybe I'll remember this. Fat chance, but maybe. Okay, so Medusi's going for uh so oh this is this is nauseating. Yeah, orange. Those are oranges. Look everybody, it's an orange. Vinny, you did this for educational use only. Can I get proof that I did this? Because I don't remember this. I, I've played other shopping games. I know I've played other shopping games. Jazz Punk, and also that, that there was another grocery game where I had to find stuff. Fish just die. Yes, they did. Oh, because they looked at me. They look. I. Oh, right, because I'm Medusa. Yep. No, I didn't play this. I'm gonna need some pickled pears, please. All right, I'm ready to check out. No turning people into stone. Um, yeah, I have a, I have a shopping list of things I specifically need to get, but now I'm stuck in a wall. I, I'm in the Austin Powers movie now. Frozen rats on a stick. This, this man is very smart. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, you managed to get through. You managed to get through. Good for you. I've managed to- is it sponge? I guess I didn't play that one. Did I play the grandfather machine? Because I have a separate pack here called Getting Weird With It Indie. Maybe? Yes? Sounds familiar? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out once again. Who the fuck knows? Maybe! Some of this pack was consolidated. Oh, I see. I think the pack itself might have been... Like... Yep, no, there's some volume here. That's already been, um, done. So I, I think I have done this. It's so hard to tell. I mean, I, I stream so many, like... Hundreds of weird games per year. Yeah, Gattaca. This one I remember, yeah. So I guess just watch another Getting Weird With It and you'll find this. I'm gonna try that browser game.
and then I will give you more uh, Spooptober stuff. I have a couple good ones. Yeah. Um, Sphinx, I don't have the link to this thing for some reason. Yeah, it's gone. Whatever it was, it's gone. You might want to link me to it. Here it is. Got it. All right. Let's take a look. Let's see if it's any good. And let's see how loud it is because it's going to be one of those browser-based games. Job's gone. Oh, no, 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 no. That's fine. Here we go. Run anti-thriller. The interlude. There's a waste train happening in chat. I can't even see it. October 29th, 1046. Did I break it already? Hundred people just wasted their points. Oh, oh, okay. Hundreds of wastes. Oh, I have to. I see. I'm a dummy. I thought I broke the buttons by keeping them in place, but you have to press the gray ones. I'm here. Send. Okay. Yeah, eat chips. T time to time to go. All right, let's go. Let's drive. Time to drink. Meet in the usual spot, flash your lights three times when you s see me pull in. Wow, it's just like real life. I had this fucking phone. Internet, that's funny. That's funny. How to spot corporate spies. Wait, what? More bad news for that Loki as the bikes? investors. Uh, ten, Five best spots for corporate getaway. You're listening to Blue Evenings on two, Soviet skate six, sim banned in the USA. The one and only free to air radio here in Take a gander at the stealthy uh, boy. We all know and love. Feel free to phone in, you know, report what's happening around town. Anything's welcome. We've talked a bit too much now, let's move into the next song. That's... Keep those wheels a-rollin'. No, not yet. Chat wants to hear classic. All right, hang on a minute, chat. I, I will do what you say. Now, I wanna. Nice. 
be your dog. I'm not there. If I'm not there by 10.50, then the meat has been compromised. Run. It's almost 10.50. Uh oh, the meat has been compromised. I don't know what to do, chat. I don't know what to do. It's 10.50. Holy cock and balls. Yeah. Okay. I'm here. How do I leave? The meat has been compromised. Turn on car. I can't. There's no ignition. I can't turn on the car. I can't get out of here. I can't drive. I know, I know what happened in chat, and I appreciate it, but I don't like to, uh, encourage it. I'm good. Message received. On my way. Okay, well, the meat... Are we sure the meat has been compromised, or are there corporate spies on the way? Oh, no. Oh, shit, it's the cops! Run! Okay, no, never mind, it's fine. How to spot corporate spies. Tell me more. I can't learn more. Sci-fi socialist witch big game we be witches. What? Wow, local magician is the cutest. Oh, it's that frog. Skeletons in your closet? Yeah, us too. Food safety scandal rocks downtown eatery public shocked. Get 35 and snake? I really don't want to. I really, really don't want to. Here's call number three for Dave. Oh, yeah. Hi. Um, great evening this evening, I have to be honest. I think the city's looking uh, really beautiful tonight. Uh, yeah, a lot long time listener. I've uh, been really enjoying the, the, the mix that you've been. Uh, Flash your lights at the car. Okay, I will. Tr I will do that. Thank you very much. Call number Was that the car? No, that wasn't the car. Song, people. This song is. I hope I keep on living. One, two. Three. No! Not that one either. Benny, if the meat is compromised, flashing your lights at the car that pulls in will... That's me. That's, that's the car. It's going very, very slow. Very slow. It's probably not a corporate spy. Oh shit. 
Answer. What? Ah. Oh. I'm not whelmed. I'm not whelmed by that. It's called anti-thriller. Run anti-thriller. So yeah. Features um Real-time, first-person, anti-thriller, designed to be played in a single 10-minute session. Um, ringtones, browse the internet, backgrounds, and more. More than 10 minutes of late-night radio featuring original songs. <laughs> there is a download for this, too. It was- it seems like that's it. It seems like it's just one thing. It's- it's just real 10 minutes. I kind of liked the atmosphere of it. I thought, you know, something like that could work out. Maybe there is like a, a potential for more of that. Maybe 20 minutes of gameplay. I don't know. Well, that was getting weird with it. So finally, all the getting weird with it I have is now complete. And I didn't do it at the very end of the night and cock blocked the segment. So I'm pretty happy about that. Now here's a gorilla deep throating a taco.